Okay, question three. It says, Happy Life High School, which is an interesting name, makes table centerpieces, each consisting of four balloons in a vase filled with sand for the 2017 ball. Right, so like, I presume it's like a matric dance vibe. Then it says, the school expects 240 people at the ball. Each table, each table will accommodate a maximum of eight people and one centerpiece will be placed on each table. The diagram below um, shows the two types of centerpieces that will be used. So there's one that's regular, um, rectangular and one that's cylindrical. And they've given us a, a number of different measurements and dimensions. So we're probably going to have to use that. Um, so let's continue. So it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. It says, calculate the minimum number of balloons required for all the centerpieces. Okay. So question three, 3.1.1, right. It says minimum number. So we know that there's 240 tables with eight people at each table. Put that in your calculator. That's 30 tables. Okay. Now, each table has one centerpiece because it says there. Um, and one centerpiece, uh, one centerpiece will be placed on each table. Each centerpiece has four balloons. So then we say 30 times four equals 120 balloons. Cool. So that's us done there, right? That's just like kind of like a logic question more than anything else, but make sure that you're picking up the particulars of this question as you go through it. It says each vase will have a decorative ribbon around it. Oh, my language in this in this video. Sorry. <laughs> the ribbon will overlap one centimeter. Okay, so basically means as you wrap it around, that little overlap will be like that, one centimeter. Okay. Um, and then it says calculate the minimum length of decorative ribbon needed to decorate one rectangular vase. So thankfully, we don't need to think about the circular vases, only the rectangular ones right now. And it says length of the decorative ribbon two times the length plus the width plus one. Okay, so this is quite easy because we know that the length is 10, the width is six. So we literally just say here, um, so length of ribbon. So you can just say length of ribbon equals two times six plus 10, right, plus one. So six plus 10 Right, that was the length and the width. We're not really interested about the height because it's not going up or up or down the, the rectangular bars, it's only going around, right? So this, if you put into your calculator, will be 33, right? And we are A4 away. Just please remember to put in your centimeters because it's very easy to get that wrong. Okay, well, not wrong, but, but to forget your measurement and then get penalized for it. So let's now go on to the more trickier questions of 3.1.3 it says calculate in centimeters cubed the volume of the cylindrical vase you may use the following formula pi times radius squared times height and they tell you what pi equals now this is very important often what students do is they just go and plug pi into their um calculator no guys it says what pi is so therefore use that value okay so we know that volume is going to equal pi Right, times radius. Now, what is the radius of this? Okay, in our earlier videos for this paper, we said that radius is half of the diameter. So remember to make this six and not 12, square that, and then times its height, which is 28. Both of these are in centimeters, so we A for away. Let's just plug that into our calculator. I'm not plugging in pi, I'm plugging in 3.142, importantly, right? And then I'm going to say times by six squared, times by 28, okay? And my volume will be 3167.136 centimeters cubed, okay? So that is that, right? So it says the volume of the cylinder, cylinder so we're done, we've done in centimeters cubed, we are A for away. Let's now go for the last question. It says the volume of the rectangular vase is this much. Okay, so it's a bit different to what we got in our question, which is not a problem, right? Um, and then it says, um, oh, well, this is the rectangular vase. Sorry, I'm looking at the, at the, I'm thinking of the cylindrical vase. So important to read your questions. The volume of the rectangular vase is 1,680 centimeters cubed. 45% of the vase will be filled with sand. So it's not the whole thing, it's only 45%. The mass of one centimeter cubed of sand is 1,53 grams calculate in kg so there's a bit of like moving pieces here to two decimal places okay um the mass of the sand so first thing we're going to do 
is we're going to say 45% times by 1680. Because that's how many, how, the volume that we're actually interested in. So 45% times by 1680, and that would be 756. Okay, so that is how many centimeters cubed is actually going to be with sand. But each of these centimeters cubed, right, how much does it weigh in sand? 1,53. So let's get it into how much it's going to weigh. Okay, so take that answer times by 1.53. And our answer there is 1156.68 grams. Okay, but it said we have to do it in kilograms. Okay, and to two decimal places. How do we get grams to kilograms? We divide it by a thousand. So you divide it by a thousand. Okay, so I'm going to divide that by a thousand, and that's going to give me 1.1. It says to two decimal places because my third decimal place is above five, it's going to round it up. So it's going to be that. And that is your answer. So here it's important to make sure that you're reading your questions because it's very easy to get it wrong. Okay, but that was quite a few marks. I mean, if you look there, there was a good 12 marks and it was really easy to get. Okay, so that's us done. Let's go to the second half of question three.